King Mswati III of the African nation of Swatini, previously known as Swaziland, is on his third day of his first state visit to Taiwan. Today, President Tsai Ing-wen welcomed the king with a high-level reception at the presidential office. During his visit, President Tsai said Taiwan would not engage in dollar diplomacy, but that isolation would never be an option for Taiwan either. A 21-gun salute greeted Swatini's King Maswati III in the plaza in front of the presidential office. Inside, dancers performed for the king and his delegation. This high-level visit came shortly after Burkina Faso broke off diplomatic relations with Taiwan, making Swatini its last ally left in Africa. President Tsai Ing-wen made use of the occasion to publicly state Taiwan's diplomatic stance. Although international participation is very difficult for Taiwan, isolationism has never been an option. We will not engage in poor quality diplomacy that competes on spending, but we won't cut ourselves off from the international community either. Uh, I want to also make that commitment that uh, whatever programs, uh, whatever challenges, uh, we will always be together. Uh, you know, uh, we are friends in good times and bad times, we will always be friends. One item on the King's to-do list in Taiwan is attending his son's graduation ceremony on Saturday. President Tsai extended her congratulations to the soon-to-be graduate. I would like to especially congratulate His Royal Highness, Prince Bula Benkozi de Lamini, who is seated here and who will graduate from our Shi Jian University. The prince is considered a possible successor to Swatini's throne. After he graduates from college, he plans to remain in Taiwan for graduate school, strengthening his connection with Taiwan. His father's state visit and President Tsai's visit to Swatini in April are signs of the friendship and stable ties between the two nations. The Legislative Yuan is planning to hold an extraordinary session from June 11th to July 6th to handle a raft of draft bills. The ruling DPP wants to pass 16 bills, including a proposal on military pension reform. The opposition KMT has submitted a bill inviting President Tsai Ing-wen to visit the Legislative Yuan to report on diplomatic allies terminating ties with Taiwan. Meanwhile, the new power party hopes to pass amendments to the Air Pollution Control Act and the Mining Act, along with a marriage equality bill. The People First Party said it also wants amendments to the Air Pollution Act. Tropical depression Maliksi strengthened into a tropical storm early this morning and is expected to move toward Japan and be closest to Taiwan on Saturday. Although the storm is not expected to hit Taiwan proper, it could bring southwesterly winds and rainfall for a week starting on Sunday. Hopefully the precipitation will help alleviate the nation's current water shortage crisis. By morning, temperatures in Taipei had already climbed to 34 to 35 degrees Celsius. As Taiwan baked in the heat, tropical storm Maliksi was forming and gaining strength. After Maliksi moves north, it will bring southwesterly winds from the seas west of the Philippines. On the 10th, it will be near Taiwan and there will be a relatively large low pressure zone in southern Taiwan. There will be relatively strong southwesterly winds and the probability of rainfall will increase everywhere. Under the influence of the tropical storm, rain is expected across Taiwan on Sunday and Monday, with the possibility of downfalls in the south and southeast. It looks like after the 14th there will still be a low pressure system near Taiwan. The probability of rainfall in all areas of Taiwan will still be relatively high. It seems like this weather system will persist for around a week. Before Saturday, hot and dry weather is forecast for all areas of Taiwan, with temperatures in northern Taiwan and the Jiayi Plains potentially reaching 36 degrees Celsius. A new discovery on Mars has amounted to the best suggestion yet that life could exist beyond Earth. NASA has announced that its Curiosity rover, which has roamed Mars for nearly six years, found organic molecules preserved in rock that dates back three billion years. Scientists say the molecules could be the building blocks of life. Although the discovery does not prove life on Mars, scientists report another promising find. 
Their studies have shown sharp seasonal increases of methane in the Martian atmosphere, which may have come from the surface of Mars or from underground lakes. Researchers don't know for sure what is producing the methane, but they say they can't rule out a biological origin. Her reign as women's doubles world number one has ended, but Taiwanese tennis ace San Yongran has made history again by winning the mixed doubles title at the French Open. John yesterday teamed up with Ivan Dodic of Croatia to defeat the top seeds in a dramatic super tiebreaker. The victory makes John the first Taiwanese player to win a mixed doubles title in a Grand Slam tournament. Tennis ace Zhang Yongran and her new doubles partner, Ivan Dodig of Croatia, took the French Open mixed doubles title, defeating their Canadian and Croatian opponents 6-1, 6-7 and 10-8 in a first to 10 super tiebreaker. At the beginning I wasn't sure if I would be able to compete in, uh, in mixed doubles and at the end we made the right choice. I think this title is uh, important for both of us, especially we were both in the final before. And I think we're very, you know, hunger for the title of mixed doubles. So I'm really happy that it came true. In the women's single semi-final, world number one and top seed Simona Halep of Romania faced off against Spain's Garbine Muguruza, a 2016 French Open winner, eventually winning straight sets, 6-1, 6-4 and retaining her status as world number one. The win qualified Halep for the finals, where she will face America's Sloane Stephens on Saturday. The last berth in the men's semi-final was booked by Spain's Rafael Nadal, known as the King of Clay, who overcame Argentina's Diego Schwartzman. Although Nadal lost 4-6 in the first set, he battled back to win three sets in a row with 6-3, 6-2 and 6-2.